Okay, welcome back to another video by Foco Web Design, and today we're going to be covering a, a problem with all-in-one WP migration where it says unable to import, the archived file is corrupted. Uh, an issue when you go to migrate your website and you go to import it to the new domain, you may be faced with this exact error message, unable to import, archive file is corrupted, and so you'll click this article here and as you read the article you'll realize there hasn't really been a very good solution and there's been a lot of people throughout the years that have had issue with this same problem and the thread I don't even think's ever been closed but I figured out the problem I really do think this is the reason that the majority of these people had this problem and I hope that it'll help you too so when you look at your the issue is you're not getting the full file size so when you go to export uh, your file over here and you click on export to file from the website that you would like to export the file from, it tells you the max file size or it tells you the size of your website. This one that I'm working with right now is 108 megabytes as you'll see here in just a second. And when I go to download it, it was not downloading the entire 108 megabytes it was stopping you can see here in my download folders this one was 32 this one was 36 this one was 45 and then 46 but it says 108 and so that's why it's a corrupted file because it's an incomplete file you're not getting all of the megabytes so it cannot possibly migrate it to the new location so make sure it's the correct megabytes first and if that's not this is how you fix it so you cannot just click this button and download it because when you do this it doesn't download the one the complete 108 megabytes and this is probably an issue with your hosting provider it's timing out on the server or something like that and it's not allowing it to finish the download so to get around that what you need to do is go to your hosting provider and go to your cPanel account and inside your cPanel tools if you scroll down to your file manager right here and click on file manager and then you can click on the website that you need to get into it's usually inside public HTML you go into the content folder uh, I'm actually public HTML is your main one so for me right here law firm this is the one I'm working on and then I go into my content and then inside WP content there is a1 or AI1 WM backups and this is where the all-in-one WP migration backups folder is located and you can see all these other ones they're they're the correct uh, megabytes and so you can download any one of these ones and just click here right click and click download or you can click on it and click on download somewhere up on your toolbar sometimes but if you download directly from your file manager here you will get the correct amount of megabytes you'll get the full download so just do that download it'll start to uh, to download and I already have mine finished and then after that you should be able to import it and it should work correctly let me know if this helped you like thumb up comment below but Yep. Stick around for more tips and tricks and thank you again. Have a good day.